Kelly Haroldson. We're here in the O'Reilly Family Event Center where the Drury Panthers are getting ready to take on Southern Indiana. I'm here with assistant coach Brandon Kimbrew. Coach, USI's Jarrell Taylor is a 6'4 guard who's in the top 10 in the conference in rebound and scoring. How do you slow him down tonight? Well, I mean, he's got to see multiple guys when he catches the basketball. I mean, he's, he's going to take some tough shots, and he's a, good, he's a good player, so he can make some tough shots. So, I mean, we we got to we gotta make him catch it maybe where he doesn't want to. And then, obviously, when the shot goes up, we got to box him out and limit his, his chances to get second-chance points. Southern Indiana is number one in rebounding in the conference. Jury's next to last. How important is that going into this game? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely – it's been a focal point of, like, every game of, of, of this season. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's definitely big tonight going against the number one team in our conference. I mean, we got a gang rebound. we got to get five guys in there. Um, I mean, we got to chase it, and I mean, we got to get in there and get scrappy and try to win the rebound and battle tonight. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Now over to Bobby Hearn at the highlights. Big week of basketball for Steve Hessler and the Panthers against the GLVC East. Southern Indiana comes into this game losers of four of their last five, but they can still score with the best of them. Second in the conference in that category. When your name is Bobo, but you got game. Bobo Drummond puts USI up. Screaming Eagles start the game on a 7-2 run. Panthers trying to claw back in it. Tevin Foster drives to the rim. Foster second on the team in scoring at just over 14 a game. More Bobo. This time counted and the foul. USI goes up three. Drew Moore connects from deep to cut the Screaming Eagles lead to one. Not a pretty half of basketball. 18 combined turnovers, but DU closes it on a 13-5 run. Josh Palmer good on the layup here. Panthers up on USI 28-25 after 20 minutes. Under 10 minutes left in the game now, DU up eight. Go ahead and make it 10. More off the laser from Bundy. One of his six assists. Can't leave the big man that wide open. Moore finishes with 11.7 boards. Cameron Bundy being, well, Cameron Bundy. Look at the degree of difficulty fading away almost behind the basket. No problem. Bundy puts the lead to 11. Jump ahead. USI cuts it to four with about six minutes left. Doug Moore, you don't see a ton of this from him. Knocks down the mid-range. And then ball movement. Steve Hessler has to love that. Moore finishes. So does Drury. The team shoots a blistering 58% from the field. Bundy goes for 23. Panthers finish off USI 75-62. Both teams came out sloppy, but you guys outscored USI by 13 in the second half. What was different coming out of the locker room? Um. Well, I mean, we didn't do anything on defensive end really I mean they were still making shots and we weren't really getting that many stops till the end but I mean the main reason was because we shot like 75 percent from the field today and that definitely helped us a lot to get that W. And these type of grinded out wins what do you hope your team takes away? Well I mean you know the key is what we're trying to get them to do is is you know this basketball team can do some some really good things at times you know the key is that they they got to do them for a lot longer periods and and uh you know, when we get off track, uh, you know, collectify and get everybody going in the right direction and, and, and do jury things. <laughs>